How's it going guys? Leon here and welcome to another architectural video. So for today's video, we are going to do AutoCAD shortcuts I wish I knew when I was starting with AutoCAD. So basically, these are the commands that your teacher won't necessarily teach you guys but are very crucial for you to master AutoCAD. Also, these are the commands I wish someone taught me sooner so that I would have saved more time in AutoCAD and spent more time, you know, trying, trying to grow 2 inches taller because I'm short. Anyways, let's move on to our first AutoCAD shortcut. So the first shortcut or command that you need to know as a beginner is the trim command. So trim command is one of my favorite commands out of all the AutoCAD functions since it is a multi-function command. So the first function of trim command is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to trim things. So for example, we have an intersection right here. What you would normally do is press trim, select the object, which you want to be the slicing plane and then press spacebar again and then slice the other side of the line but there is a super easier way so let's say i want to trim a bunch of things what you do is press tr and then press spacebar twice what that does is basically it allows you to slice any line that intersects with another line press tr press spacebar twice and just you know go to town with all the slicing boom you can even slice those slice those slice those and there we go infinite amount of trimmings another function of the trim command is extending lines so let's say we want to extend this line right here up to here so let's just draw a perpendicular line right there and then what you have to do is press tr and then press spacebar twice again now all you got to do is while pressing shift select on the edge of the line which you want to be extended so for this example we'll extend this line to here so let's press shift and boom, it extends there. So just click on the line and it will extend. Now this only works if there's a perpendicular object in front of the line which you want to extend. So for example, I want to extend this line up to here. It won't work if there's nothing there, see? So for that, you could use the stretch command. Just stretch it by pressing S. Or you could use the trim command. Just create a line in front of that. Press TR and then press spacebar twice. And boom, you can extend that line over there. So basically with the TR double space command, you could slice objects and then you could extend objects. It's the Swiss army knife of AutoCAD commands. If, if the Swiss army knife only had like two things, if it had a knife and like a spoon or something. Anyways, moving on to the second command. So the second AutoCAD command that we are going to learn today is what I call the copy command. So you guys might be asking, but Leon, we already know how to do the copy command. Just press the C and then press letter O and then press enter and then voila, copy. Yeah, you could do that type of copy command, but the copy command I'm about to show you guys is a very special super secret technique not really but rather this is an alternative way how to do the copy command so normally what you would do when you will copy something is select the object you are going to copy press co and then press enter and then select your reference point and then bring that to the area which you want it to be copied upon but there's an even faster and better way to do the copy command so to do this special copy command all you got to do is select the object you want to copy and then press shift control and then c all you got to do after that is select a reference point Point. after that you could press ctrl v and then paste the object that you have copied so the good thing about this copy command is you could select an object right there and then press ctrl shift c and now you could also do a bunch of random commands like create a rectangle and then create a circle and then after doing all those random commands you could still press ctrl v to paste the object that you have copied a while ago so this copy command is super useful if you want to copy an object from one project to another project so for example i want to copy this table from this project to this other project so if you use the normal copy command which is co then enter and then select the reference point once you go to the other project your whole copy command is just going to be cancelled. But that is not the case when you use the Control shift c copy command. Let me just demonstrate guys. Select the objects you want to copy. Press Control shift c Select the reference point. Go to your other project. And then press Control v And voila! You can copy seamlessly from one project to another with a reference point. And that is it. The special copy command patent pended by Leon Austria. Not really. I think a bunch of people out there know this. You guys probably even know this. But it totally blew my mind when I first discovered it. So I wanted to share it to you guys. 
Anyways, let's move on to our third command. Okay, secret AutoCAD command or shortcut or tip number three. So this next thing I'm about to show you is more of a guideline or like like a tutorial how to use the selection tool properly. First, let's discuss how to use the selection tool. So in order to activate the selection tool command, all you got to do is click on your workspace and then drag either going to the left or going to the right. But while doing so, you guys will notice that if I drag towards the left, the selection tool turns green. And then the border of the box is a dotted line. But if I drag the selection tool to the right, the border of the box turns into a solid line and the fill of the box is color blue. So let's just call this left drag selection the green selection tool and let's call this right drag selection the blue selection tool. So AutoCAD did not make this selection tool color different just to mess with people out there with OCD. Um, there's a purpose for this. So the green selection tool and the blue selection tool are two different types of selection marquees. So basically what the green selection tool is, is it's a selection tool that's unbiased. By unbiased, I mean anything that the green selection tool hits becomes selected. It's kind of like Midas of AutoCAD selection. Basically anything it hits gets selected. That's a weird analogy, but okay. So the difference with the green selection tool and the blue selection tool is, is that if you use the blue selection tool, it does not select anything that it touches. Basically what the blue selection tool only selects is the objects that fit within the border or the boundaries of the selection marquee that you have made. Okay guys, so if it's still not clear to you guys, let me just demonstrate the difference between the blue selection tool and the green selection tool. So the green selection tool, anything it touches, get selected. So let's say I want to select this circle right here. You could do it with the green selection tool and anything that gets touched gets selected. But I do not want these other circles to get selected. So what do you do? You use the blue selection tool. Drag it from the left towards the right, turns into a blue selection tool. And basically the only things that can fit inside the blue marquee is the only objects that will be selected. So let's do that. Boom only selected the circle. Okay guys, so now that we are familiar with the blue selection tool and the green selection tool, let us move on to the secret AutoCAD command number four. Okay guys, so the secret AutoCAD command number four is what I would like to call the lasso selection tool in AutoCAD. So you know that lasso tool in Photoshop, it kind of works like that, but in AutoCAD. So yeah. Okay, so in order to activate your lasso selection tool, all you got to do is left click on your workspace and do not let go of that left click. So right here, and magic, I can select randomly shaped objects like amoeba or stuff like that. So the principles behind the green selection tool and blue selection tool also applies with this lasso command. So basically if you drag towards the right, it turns into a blue lasso selection. So let's drag towards the right. There you go, blue lasso selection. If we drag towards the left, it turns into a green lasso selection. So this lasso selection tool is super useful if you want to select like a weirdly shaped object. Let's say this angle bar right here. So let's just go around like so. And boom, you have safely selected the angle bar without selecting any other random objects around it. All right guys, so with tips number three and number four, you guys are going to be the selection masters. Sounds like a corny Sunday morning cartoon. Anyways, if your classmates do not know this, show this to them and become like a real popular guy. Cause you know, AutoCAD and weird obscure commands. That did not work for me when I was in college. So the fifth secret AutoCAD command I'm about to teach you is called the save all and close all command. So basically what this does is it saves every project that you have open in your AutoCAD program. So these commands are super useful when you're like in a super rush, like you have to poop or like your dog is going to the emergency room and you have no more time to save. I don't know why I chose that analogy, but anyways, my point is you really have to rush and you do not have time to save all of those projects one by one. So what you do is just type save all press enter, and basically all of your project tabs within your AutoCAD program become saved. So after doing that save all command, let's say you wanna close all of your tabs open, so just type close all. And what that does is it asks you if you want to save changes to the things open and just press yes, and boom, all of your project tabs within the AutoCAD program is immediately closed. So the sixth command is called the overkill command. 
what the overkill command does is it basically gets rid of overlapping lines and then combines lines that are abutting each other. So what I mean is combines lines that are like this. They're touching, but they're not really together. Kind of like you and the girl that friend zoned you. <laughs> Anyways, to execute this command, all you got to do is type in overkill, press spacebar, and then select the objects which you want to purge of any unnecessary linear geometry. So to demonstrate this command, I have three lines. I have this yellow line, which is underneath this red line. And then I have this blue line, which is connected to this red line. To activate the command, just type overkill, press enter, and then select those three lines that you want to rid of any unnecessary linear geometry thingamabobbins. Okay, now let's press enter again. Then this whole delete duplicate objects tab will come up. So for tolerance, I select 0 0.00001. The more zeros you put in, the tighter the tolerance will be. Anyways, once all of those are checked, press OK. And boom, the line that used to be three colors is now combined into one color, just like magic. So I use this when my AutoCAD project is lagging and it's taking a bunch of time. It means that there are probably a lot of unnecessary linear geometry within my project. So I just select the whole project and then activate overkill and boom, it just gets rid of all the unnecessary things in my project and the project is squeaky clean. So yeah, that's one upside for that. Anyways, let's move on to our next command. Okay, so the seventh command in our secret AutoCAD list is called OOPS. Pretty self-explanatory, the OOPS command is for you guys out there who are super clumsy, just like me, who say OOPS a lot in real life. So if you're that type of person, remember this command, guys. So basically what the OOPS command does is it restores anything that you have accidentally deleted. Kind of like that one time SpongeBob accidentally deleted his memory of his name in order to memorize fine dining cuisine. You guys might say, But Leon, I could always use Control Z. Yeah, you could always do that, but the oops command is super special. Let's say I accidentally deleted this whole table. Boom, it's gone. Oh no, the table's gone. But due to my clumsiness and brilliance, I did not notice that I have deleted this thing and did a bunch of random other commands that is very hard to duplicate. So let's say I did this whole abstract piece right here. I did another thing like right there. And then after doing that, I noticed that the table is missing and I'm like, oh no, man, what happened to the table? So you guys could use Control Z to restore the table. But what Control Z did is it also erased all the progress you made with that other object you did on the left side of the project panel. And now it's super hard to repeat because it was an abstract expression of your inner self that cannot be repeated ever. So this is where the oops command comes in handy. So let's do that again. Let me just accidentally delete this. What's that? And then you did not notice that you accidentally hit the keyboard with your elbow, some, some, some weird situation like that. And now you're just working on some abstract maze of some sort. After doing your whole art project on the side, you notice that you have accidentally deleted the table. So what you do is type in oops, Press enter, and boom, it restores the thing that you accidentally deleted. All right guys, we are now down to our last AutoCAD secret command thingy. So AutoCAD secret command thingy number eight is what I call the mouse scroll wheel click. Basically, it's just the scroll wheel of your mouse right here and just click it down. So for me, I have rerouted the mouse scroll wheel clicky thing to this other button on the side of my mouse right here because I have used the scroll wheel command so many times that the scroll wheel clicky button thing inside my mouse actually broke. So basically, if you click the mouse scroll wheel, what it does is it activates the pan command within your AutoCAD project. So let's click that and boom. So instead of pressing P and then enter and then clicking, you could just click the mouse scroll wheel and instant pan command. Also, one super good function of the mouse scroll wheel click is if you click it twice, it's going to zoom out into your entire project. So let's say you accidentally zoom super in and you're like, oh no, where am I? Just click the mouse scroll wheel twice and it's going to zoom out into the entirety of your project. So this is super useful if you accidentally like went off into the distance like super far and oh no, I can't find my project. Just click the mouse scroll wheel twice and boom, you're instantly teleported within the premises of your project. 
Okay guys, so those are the top 8 secret AutoCAD commands that every beginner must know. So if you guys know any other secret commands that I may have missed in this whole video, just leave it in a comment down below so that I could share those information on the part 2 of this video. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe down below for more videos like this from me, your boy Lian. I hope you guys found this whole video interesting. Happy New Year and flying. Peace! Peace! <laughs>